Hello everyone. So today I'm in Nassau still and hubby he had a few things he need to do so hopefully he would be gone. He has already been gone now for maybe an hour or so. So I just re I just decided maybe I should come well not yeah I just decided maybe I should make a little video because I was here playing with Danish this is Danish and she is my 14 inch full body silicone baby girl by Camry dolls so she was um, sculpted molded poured into silicone painted by Camry dolls and she was rooted by Miss Beverly from Beverly's babies so yes I did mention that I decided to bring <laughs> uh, to bring her along on my trip here because I find that I'd be missing my baby so much that I needed a baby to be with me while I'm here in Nassau during my daughter's schooling because I did mention that she's in the University of the Bahamas in Nassau so uh, yeah so I'm here and I was cuddling with Danish and then I said you know what let me make a video so hopefully hubby be gone for maybe another I would say half an hour that would give me sufficient time to make this video and to just clean up a bit because I have a lot of little baby stuff that's on the bed so let me sit yeah this bed here in Nassau is pretty low <laughs> this is low my bed back home is 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 uh is high. Okay. All right, guys. So um. Yeah. So this is my sweetie pie. Her name is Danish Gloria. And I was thinking because also, uh, the last two videos I made, I made showing how I sized down. Well, actually, I had a request. The request was to show not how I size down my onesie, but how I make my booties. But at the same time, I had realized a few months ago that I need to downsize a few onesies. Because uh, Danish could get away with the newborn size no sorry danish can get away with the preemie size onesies it's too big yes but i can you, you can tuck it you know you can tuck it in a way you know to make it work so i wasn't so much concerned about danish so much but i was more concerned about oh my phone is ringing one minute be right back Okay guys, I'm back. So that was hubby that called me. So I know he's not coming home right now. Because he called to find out the name of the printer. Because apparently we're out of ink. Guys, I was so busy yesterday. All day yesterday. Helping hubby with his office work from 9 a.m. Until 2 p. No, until 2 a.m. this morning. Yes all day but I was thankful you know because uh, I, I was thankful that <laughs> his work didn't clash with me making my video and sizing down my onesies because a few days ago I had some spare time and I was able to make the videos I was able to size down more onesies than which you had seen me size down I sized down I don't know five six seven onesies so you know I had a few days that I was able to do that so yesterday even though it was a lot of work I just was thankful <laughs> at least I was able to put my video out and I was able to size down the onesies that I had brought over and my main concern too for sizing down the onesie, I think this is where I left off in my video before I answered my phone call. My main reason too for wanting to size down the onesies is for my next full body silicone baby girl 12 inch blemish. 
because she cannot wear, she can't even get away wearing a preemie size onesie. It's just too, too big. It's just too, too big. I find that, um, like blemish, blemish have a much smaller body or shorter body than Danish. But blemish have a bigger head, I think, or maybe the same size head. So, um, both girls can wear the same size. But for some reason, Danish is, I think it's because her body is longer. She's a little bit, uh, well, she is bigger. She's 14 inch and, and blemish is 12 inch. But because blemish have chunkier legs and arms and her head her head just might be a little bit bigger than danish but her body for sure is a bit i think a bit shorter yeah so she cannot get away in no way with a preemie size onesie so you know i said you know what i'm just gonna have to size down some onesies and both girls will benefit from it all right so in this video, I just wanted to mention that the person that had asked me to size down, not size down, but to show how I make my booties, also had asked about, uh, wanted me to show how to make pants. And she have, she also have the same sculpt. She have the Gloria, which is this sculpt. And she's interested in the pants for her, her Gloria. And I don't, I you know, the only pants that I bought so far for Danish is those little, like, diaper covers. Little ruffle short pants, little diaper, diaper covers. And other than that, I bought, like, Cardis. Here's one. This is Cardis Premi Pants. And I wanted to try that on for the mom. I need a chair. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm saying I need a chair because this um bed is so low. Anyway, um, so let me just show you this this outfit. Okay, this is a this is a this was actually a three piece set, but I'm gonna show you the two pieces from it. I don't remember what was the third piece, but I sized down the onesie into just a shirt and it says what color is this this is almost it's not brown I don't know this color I don't know what you call this but it's like it's it's not rust uh, I don't know what color you call that it might be looking a little brown okay let's just say brown because actually I had purchase the thread to size this down and I had purchased a brown thread so let's just say brown okay and it says you are the apple of my eye really really cute and I decided to instead of a onesie size this down into a shirt because the pants here's the pants it's it's pink and white stripe and the back of it have the little apple <laughs> <laughs> which is so cute so I said you know what I'll just make this into a shirt so when she wear it you know the shirt she'll just you know it would look cute as a shirt I think I prefer than the onesie I think yeah so that's what I had done but I wanted to show what she looks like in the preemie size pants I'm, I'm here I think I better go on my knees then because guys <laughs> yeah on my knees is actually a little bit better um, okay so this is Danish again and Danish has like the armatures in her arm yes so guys this little t-shirt let me show you. I made another one yesterday. 
this little t-shirt my lighting isn't that good I'm actually in the bedroom and the lighting uh, isn't that good for videos but anyway let me show you this was so easy uh, this is a t-shirt that had belonged to my daughter and the end of the t-shirt this is one of those little like toddler t-shirts that it was brand new but she never wore it and I decided to use it to make little t-shirts so you notice the end of the t-shirt is like a little ruffled yeah so I decided to use the end of the t-shirt that way I don't have to hem it and let me show you how I done it so I cut it out into a t-shirt sleeveless t-shirt and all I needed to sew was the shoulder and the sides so what I had done is I got the material and you know I got this idea from YouTube you just go right on YouTube see you cut two equal parts of material and you 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 just flip it over and you cut the sleeve and then you cut the neckline and then cutting the neckline you'll have to cut the first neckline you cut is the back and then you t you separate the the front shirt and you cut the front shirt alone a little bit lower and then that way you get like the front of the shirt will be a little bit lower I know you can't tell the front of the shirt will be a little lower and the back of the shirt would be a little higher so all I had to do was sew the shoulders and the sides of the shirt I didn't worry about the rough work like in the arm or the neckline I didn't worry about that because it's just an undershirt so most so what I'll do is just put a shirt over the undershirt so this one I had made a few months back and I had some material left so I decided to make a second shirt um, which will probably be for for blemish yeah all right guys so um oh my knees now hurting <laughs> kneeling down so let me try to show the mom what the pants is going to look like I, I tried the pants on and the pants is a little big but I'm okay with the pants because I can make the pants work now I could size it down a lot okay guys I'm back so that was hubby that called me so I know he's not coming home right now because he called to find out the name of the printer because apparently we're out of ink guys i was so busy yesterday all day yesterday helping hubby with his office work from 9 a.m until 2 p no until 2 a.m this morning yes all day but i was thankful you know because uh i, I was thankful that <laughs> His work didn't clash with me making my video and sizing down my onesies because a few days ago I had some spare time and I was able to make the videos I was able to size down more onesies than which you had seen me size down I sized down I don't know five six seven onesies so you know I had a few days that I was able to do that so yesterday even though it was a lot of work I just was thankful <laughs> at least I was able to put my video out and I was able to size down the onesies that I had brought over and my main concern too for sizing down the onesie I think this is where I left off in my video before I answered my phone call my main reason too for wanting to size down the onesies is for my next full body silicone baby girl 12 inch blemish 
because she cannot wear, she can't even get away wearing a preemie size onesie. It's just too, too big. It's just too, too big. I find that, um, like blemish, blemish have a much smaller body or shorter body than Danish. But blemish have a bigger head, I think, or maybe the same size head. So, um, both girls can wear the same size, but for some reason, Danish is, I think it's because her body is longer. She's a little bit, uh, well, she is bigger. She's 14 inch and, and Blemish is 12 inch, but because Blemish have chunkier legs and arms and her head, her head just might be a little bit bigger than Danish but her body for sure is a bit I think a bit shorter yeah so she cannot get away in no way with a preemie size onesie so you know I said you know what I'm just gonna have to size down some onesies and both girls will benefit from it all right so in this video I just wanted to mention that the person that had asked me to size down, not size down, but to show how I make my booties. Also had asked about, uh, wanted me to show how to make pants. And she have, she also have the same sculpt. She have the Gloria, which is this sculpt. And she's interested in the pants for her, her Gloria. And I don't, I, you know, the only pants that I bought so far for Danish is those little, like, diaper covers, little ruffle short pants, little diaper, diaper covers. And other than that, I bought, like, Cardis. Here's one. This is Cardis Premi Pants. And I wanted to try that on for the mom. I need a chair. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm saying I need a chair because this um bed is so low. Anyway, um, so let me just show you this this outfit. Okay, this is a this is a this was actually a three piece set, but I'm gonna show you the two pieces from it. I don't remember what was the third piece, but I sized down the onesie into just a shirt and it says what color is this this is almost it's not brown I don't know this color I don't know what you call this but it's like it's it's not rust uh, I don't know what color you call that it might be looking a little brown okay let's just say brown because actually I had purchase the thread to size this down and I had purchased a brown thread so let's just say brown okay and it says you are the apple of my eye really really cute and I decided to instead of a onesie size this down into a shirt because the pants here's the pants it's it's pink and white stripe and the back of it have the little apple <laughs> which is so cute so I said you know what I'll just make this into a shirt so when she wear it you know the shirt she'll just you know it would look cute as a shirt I think I prefer than the onesie I think yeah so that's what I had done but I wanted to show what she looks like in the preemie size pants I'm, I'm here I think I better go on my knees then because guys <laughs> yeah on my knees is actually a little bit better um, okay so this is Danish again and Danish has like the armatures in her arm yes so guys this little t-shirt let me show you. I made another one yesterday. 
this little t-shirt my lighting isn't that good I'm actually in the bedroom and the lighting uh, isn't that good for videos but anyway let me show you this was so easy uh, this is a t-shirt that had belonged to my daughter and the end of the t-shirt this is one of those little like toddler t-shirts that it was brand new but she never wore it and I decided to use it to make little t-shirts so you notice the end of the t-shirt is like a little ruffled yeah so I decided to use the end of the t-shirt that way I don't have to hem it and let me show you how I done it so I cut it out into a t-shirt sleeveless t-shirt and all I needed to sew was the shoulder and the sides so what I had done is I got the material and you know I got this idea from YouTube you just go right on YouTube see you cut two equal parts of material and you 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 just flip it over and you cut the sleeve and then you cut the neckline and then cutting the neckline you'll have to cut the first neckline you cut is the back and then you t you separate the the front shirt and you cut the front shirt alone a little bit lower and then that way you get like the front of the shirt will be a little bit lower I know you can not tell the front of the shirt will be a little lower and the back of the shirt would be a little higher so all I had to do was sew the shoulders and the sides of the shirt I didn't worry about the rough work like in the arm or the neckline I didn't worry about that because it's just an undershirt so most so what I'll do is just put a shirt over the undershirt so this one I had made a few months back and I had some material left so I decided to make a second shirt um, which will probably be for for blemish yeah all right guys so um Oh, my knees now hurting. <laughs> Kneeling down. So, let me try to show the mom what the pants is going to look like. I I tried the pants on, and the pants is a little big, but I'm okay with the pants because I can make the pants work. Now I could size it down a. Her leg is curled up where it holds up the length of the pants you see and I like I like loose clothes on my silicone babies I don't like anything too tight so I think this actually works now if you want to mom you can I mean you can tuck like the waistband inside for a more tapered look or a more fitted look you can do that if you like you see and in doing that what it does is it makes the pants more of a fitted fit like in between the leg See, there's no more space in the crotch area or you could just leave it you can just leave it and then you get a little bit more space in the crotch but I don't, I don't see where it's an issue I don't so it's really not something I think that I need to size down I, I don't think so I like that it's loose now let me go ahead and put her her, her 
shirt on. And again, I, it's something that I size down. And then sizing this down into a shirt, it's the same instructions. The only difference is you want to make sure, like after you've done your neck area, you know the front of the neck is always a little bit lower than the back. So you want to make sure you line this up before you cut the onesie in half. Because you want to make sure that the front and the back is the same length. You see that? So you want to make sure that your, your neckline area is already completed and done. And you just leave cutting the onesie in half into a shirt. You leave that for the last. And then you hem it. You see? And then you hem it. So this is what it looks like when I hem it. And again, I bought brown material for brown thread for this for this uh, shirt. Yeah. So let me go ahead and put her shirt on her so you can see the little outfit completed. Yes, guys, so I'm trying to get used to. <laughs> I mean, I would love to make videos here. I would, but it's. I find that the lighting is not as good. Number one. And this bed is just too low. This bed is just too, too low. Okay. So um, I'm traveling back home tomorrow just for one night. Hubby and I decided that um, we're going to go for one night and we're going to leave my daughter home alone. Keeping in mind that, um, you know, she has to grow up. She have a driver's license already and she have to get to the point where she have to learn to defend for herself. So this will be her first time. Just one night. Ugh, my back. I can tell you I really don't like the lighting. <laughs> but anyway. Um, yeah, we'll be right back. We leave tomorrow morning and we'll be back uh, Saturday. So. Let me brush her here. I could find my brush now. I had the brush. Oh, and this is her creamy pacifier. Um, first, let me find that brush. I was going to show you a haul, but I'm not crazy about the lighting. Danish, what did I do with your, um, with your brush? I don't see the brush. Okay, I'll just spray spray her hair a little and just take my hand. I don't know where the brush went. All right. I added some liquid um i'm trying to remember the name of this thing that we put on their pacifier so that the pacifier goes into their mouth guys so that's it for Danish and I forgot to bring her headbands 
I forgot to bring a hairdryer. So I think what I'm going to do is, oh, this, it, the lighting is, I think I'm the one that's messing up the lighting. You can kind of see her a little bit better now. Yeah. So see, I, I think the pants works. Yeah, the pants is a little big, but I don't think it's unbearable. I think it's it, it gives you room if you want to tuck. Let's just say she, your baby's wearing two shirts. Let's say an undershirt and a onesie. And you want to tuck that into the pants. The waist is big enough that you can do that. And the pants, you can still tuck the pants to look smaller if you want. You can still do that. And the pants is not too long because her leg is curled up. You know, her leg kind of holds the pants in place. So I, 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 I think the pants is actually fine. I, I do. Now, let me turn her back on. Give me a pacifier. Let me turn her back on. So you could see. Okay. Again, it's a little big, but you can work with it. Okay, maybe I need to fix her a little bit different. Maybe turn her head this way. Okay, see there? take off the socks I think if I take off the socks you may see the feet a little bit better okay see I think it works I, I do I mean, you can still adjust it a little if you want to like shorten it in the crutch and probably just take in the waist a little. You can do that, but I don't think you have to. So finally, I found the brush. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and she is rooted with brown mohair. And she has brown eyes. She was rooted by Miss Beverly from Beverly's Babies. All right, guys. So there she is and again I think the pants is well it works for me it may not work for other moms but it actually works for me see just size down the onesie into a little shirt yeah all right guys so that's it so what I'll try to do is tomorrow I think I'm gonna leave I'm not gonna take I don't think I'm going to take Danish back home. I'm going to leave her here because I do enjoy her while I'm here. And I'm going to bring Dashin. And I'm going to downsize a few onesies for him. Dashin is 14 inch. He's also 14 inch. So I think I'm going to size 
down some onesies for him. Yeah. All right, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. And you have a super great day. Bye-bye.